This is an extract from the Leader podcast by The Evening Standard. The whole thing is available on all major podcast providers. The Duchess of Sussex's High Court legal battle against the publishers of The Mail on Sunday has been delayed until autumn next year, but on secret grounds. Lawyers for Meghan Markle argued in a private hearing that the trial shouldn't happen in January and the judge agreed, delaying the 10-day trial until nine months later. The Evening Standard's court correspondent Tristan Kirk joins me. Tristan, what came out of today's hearing? Yes, well, this is um, uh, what's a long-running legal battle between uh, the Duchess of Sussex, uh, Meghan Markle, and uh, the publishers of the Mail on Sunday and the Mail Online, Associated Newspapers Limited. The Duchess is suing the newspaper group over uh, a breach of privacy claim and misuse of her personal information over an extract of a letter um, that were published, which she sent to her estranged father, Thomas Markle. Uh, today's hearing was uh, for her to try and get the the trial of this case, which had been set down in January, delayed until later on next year. Uh, and, and that was something that the judge agreed to today. So instead of the, the case going to trial at the High Court in January, it's actually been put back until the autumn, probably October, November time. So why does Meghan want a delay? Well, that's the interesting thing is is that we, we don't know the, the reason. It's a confidential reason was put forward uh, for a delay in the case. Um, it was heard behind closed doors without any of the, the media representatives um, being in on, on the hearing. And so she put forward uh, some reason that convinced the judge that the case should be delayed by by uh, by nine or, or ten months, which is, which is a significant thing for the high court to do. And it was it was presumably a, a reason put forward that if it had been made public and heard in in open court, would have would have constituted a, a further breach of her confidentiality. So that, that was the reason why it was in exceptional circumstances held behind closed doors. So really, we we don't know the reason why it's been put back. And what happens now? Well, now there's there's various legal legal skirmishes going on uh, in in the courts ahead of the trial. So um, there was a, a judgment that was given um, a few weeks ago that a biography of the the Duchess and and Prince Harry called Finding Freedom could be weaved into the trial and, and, and essentially used against her by the newspaper group. She tried to appeal that that judgment and tried to exclude the book from the case, um, but that was knocked back today. Uh, this afternoon uh, there'll be a case management conference where they'll uh, oversee some of the you know the costs of this this titanic legal battle. And then there is also a, a summary judgment application due to be made by the Duchess in January next year. Now, a, su- a summary judgment application is would, is basically her saying that the, the, the male's publishers have absolutely no defence to this case and she should be given the win without it going to trial. She will argue that their case is hopeless uh, and, and she, she her privacy has definitely been breached and there's no need for any, any evidence and, and uh, crucially there would be no need for anybody to go into the witness box, whether that be the Duchess or, or some of her friends. And she is trying at every stage of this, this case to, to maintain a level of privacy and confidentiality and, and keep her private life from being raked over in the High Court. So what happens if the case does make it to trial? Obviously, if this case comes to trial, one of the key witnesses will be uh, her father, Thomas Markle. Uh, he's said to be uh, elderly. He's he's got health issues, and one of the things that did come up today is that he's he's quite keen for the case to go ahead as soon as possible, uh, presumably because his health isn't the best. And so he's. Um, I, I I think we can infer from what was said to the court today that he was not best pleased that there's going to be a delay in the case by uh, well what might constitute almost a year um, although it, it it must be pointed out that he doesn't know the reason why it's been put back he wasn't involved in any of the confidential hearings so his his maybe annoyance at the case going back is is not based on a full reading of why exactly it had to be done